Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a exciting video for you. I am showing you my everyday jewelry pieces, the pieces that I wear every day, talking about the wear and tear on them, and also telling you where I want my jewelry collection to go and what my plans are. So, if you're interested to see my everyday jewelry pieces, stick around. So jewelry is something that I have really gotten into recently, fine jewelry. I have lots of beautiful pieces. I don't have lots of designer jewelry, but fine jewelry is fine jewelry. And I have really gotten into Cartier and I've gotten into fine jewelry recently. So I wanted to do this video and show you guys the pieces that I reach for time and time again and why I have decided to start investing into more fine jewelry. Before we get into my everyday jewelry collection, I want to share with you some jewelry that was gifted to me by Anna Luisa and I'm really excited to finally be partnering with them. They finally reached out to me and I was excited to look over the website so I have some beautiful pieces to show you and I want to share with you a little bit about the company and the kind of jewelry that they offer. Actually the collaboration with myself and Anna Luisa couldn't have come at a better time because this is a jewelry video. All right, Anna Luisa is not fine jewelry, but it's very nice, very well made and good quality costume jewelry. It is from a very reputable New York City company. There are so many videos on Anna Luisa jewelry. I was kind of looking through YouTube and watching the videos, really what hasn't been said about this jewelry. One thing that I will say is I purchased Anna Luisa, I feel like before it was really as popular as it is now. I have several pieces. Let me show you the pieces that I chose from Anna Luisa. And before I do, I do want to tell you that it is a very reputable company with beautiful designs, so much to choose from, and I'm very happy to be partnering with them on this video. There are often many new styles being offered on the website. It changes all the time, so you really won't get bored with Anna Luisa. Now, of course, it is costume jewelry. I would say it is very well made. The quality is excellent, but it's not fine jewelry, so it's not jewelry that you can put on, keep on, and live in, okay? And I guess that's why I'm on the journey now, journey, <laughs> a fine jewelry journey, but I do still love my costume jewelry and I do love Ana Luisa jewelry. Of course, every YouTuber will tell you that they are carbon neutral, which means they used recycled products. And most YouTubers will say that means so much to them. I mean, that's a good thing. I just like their designs, I like their styles. All right, let me show you the pieces that I picked up. So they told me I could choose three pieces and it came in this small box. It came in this box here with this packaging and inside it says Ana Luisa, made from 100% recycled paper. Please continue the cycle. So yeah, they're really into the whole environment thing, which is a good thing. Okay, so check out my description box and I do have a discount code for you guys. So let me show you the first piece that I chose. Let's start with this one. <laughs> I chose this ring and it's really cool, you guys. It is a glow in the dark ring. So I'm gonna take off this tag and put it on for you. I got a size eight so I could wear it on my middle finger. I just love a band ring and I love the green color. Isn't that pretty? I just thought it was so cute, you guys. So this ring is called the Glow Tesla. And you guys, I've already checked it out. It glows in the dark. It is so awesome. I absolutely love it. It is true to size. And this ring is made of 14 karat gold on brass. I don't know, I just thought it was really, really cool. And I wanted to get something a little bit different. I just thought this was a super cool ring to get and I'm really happy to have it. All right, for item number two, I chose another ring 
and I'm not really a big ring person so I'm kind of surprised that that's what I went for but when I saw this one I was like that's what I've been looking for I've actually been looking for a ring like this it is a it's a mood ring I had mood rings when I was young and I've actually looked on Ross Simons and different places like that and I've been looking for a really cool mood ring so again I got a size 8 because I like to wear it on my middle finger or my pointer finger and look at that isn't that awesome so it does definitely change I've been playing around with it I had to look up the mood colors because they did fail to put a card in here for me but I believe if you order the mood ring you're supposed to get a card that tells the different moods that you're in and blue green kind of means that I'm relaxed and I do feel relaxed so I guess I'm in a relaxed state of mind right now but anyway you guys look at that beautiful mood ring it's more of a blue color it looks like but it definitely does change I love it I, I really really love it I think it's really cool it goes with my vibe and I got one other piece and I got a necklace. It is the mood necklace. So I thought, hey, why not? Why not get a set? I just thought this was some really cool jewelry and it has a really pretty chain and it has different little stations. So according to what jewelry you're wearing with it, you can stack your jewelry. And I love the fact that it has those stations. I do want to say it's not fine jewelry, so keep it away from chemicals, soaps, and lotions, and things like that. Don't shower in your Ana Luisa jewelry, and it will last you for many years to come. It's a great company. It's reputable. You will have your jewelry for many years to come with the proper care. That's the key right there. Now, are there any cons? I don't really have anything negative to say about Ana Luisa. I think sometimes some of the prices might be a little steep, but they're always running sales and you can always find discount codes from YouTubers. So that's a good thing. If I had to say, of course, I would prefer it if they did make more selections of larger earrings and also maybe add more silver pieces. Other than that, I think Ana Luisa is a lovely company. It's been my pleasure to work with you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I love my new jewelry. I'm especially stoked about this mood ring you guys i absolutely love it and it i must change my mood with the wind because the color is ever changing and i've enjoyed wearing it all right you guys now let's get into my everyday jewelry pieces all right it's ironic that i chose this jewelry to wear for today because they're not everyday jewelry pieces but they are pieces that I recently got and this is the second time that I've worn them and I'm really enjoying them I love a good choker you guys know that but my everyday jewelry pieces I have in front of me some of it I'm wearing I wanted to share with you my everyday pieces and also share with you why I have decided to add more fine jewelry to my collection it's not that I hope to have a massive fine jewelry collection I really don't because well, I guess like bags, there's only so much jewelry you can wear. <laughs> but at the same time, I do like to switch them out a bit and have options. But for one thing, fine jewelry is a very personal thing, I feel like. And the pieces that I have are quite personal for me. The older I get, the more I think about things that I would like to pass down to my daughter and to my granddaughters. And... Yeah, fine jewelry just holds a lot of sentimental value. All right, I'm going to start out with this hand. Now, here is my wedding set. My diamond is a round two carat in white gold, and it stands up pretty high. And my original wedding band, I just had one wedding band. It's a two carat band. And then, it was like that for the first year. <laughs> and then, our first anniversary, my husband got me a second band. And I had it made. I had it soldered together. And let me take it off and show you. So, 
my engagement ring fits inside here. And I've been wearing it like this probably, well, for 17 years now. I love my wedding set. It's chunky. It's a round solitaire, which is what I love. And I remember before we got engaged, my husband said, if I were to buy you an engagement ring, what kind of ring would you like? And he was surprised. I said, I would just like a plain round diamond. He said, really? And he said he was really surprised by that because he thought I would want one with the baguettes and all the different type of stones. And I said, no, I love a classic diamond round solitaire. And I told him my vision that I would like two bands, you know, an anniversary band and a wedding band. And so, you know, a year later I did get the second band and I have a six carat total weight wedding set. And I just love it because it's chunky and I don't know, it just suits me. I love it. I very seldom take it off and it's my most prized possession of all of my possessions. My wedding set is my most prized possession and not because they're diamonds, but because what this set represents for me. All right, so now, I guess you guys have noticed my Cartier Love Rings. I have all three colors of gold. This one is the thicker one, and it is the Cartier Love Ring in gold, and these are the wedding bands, the white gold, and the rose gold. And in Cartier Jewelry, yellow gold and rose gold I mean, you can see the difference, but it's not a huge difference. And I wear them on this hand. When Keith first bought me this one, he bought it for me in Boston. I used to wear it on this finger, but I don't know if this finger has grown and I've lost weight. I don't know. It's just too tight anymore. <laughs> but I have to wear the thicker ring on top of the thinner rings for it to stack well. But this is just, this is, these are the rings that I wear every single day. Occasionally, very occasionally, I will take one or two of these off or take them off for a day and then put them back on, but I very seldom take them off. So this Cartier Love Ring was a gift from Keith. We were in Boston and he took me to Cartier and it was a surprise. It was also, I believe, an anniversary gift, yes. And then the other two, I just purchased for myself off Fashion File, just because I wanted all three of them. I wanted to wear them like this, and I bought them for myself, just because. Now, on this arm is just my little Cartier Trinity bracelet. It's in rose gold, the chain is rose gold, and then just the little circles. It's very, very dainty, and I just thought it was really pretty. I just thought it was dainty and it was pretty, and I don't know, I just kind of wanted it to wear on this hand to represent all three colors. And this past year, for my birthday, my husband purchased me this beautiful diamond and gold bracelet. It's not a traditional tennis bracelet, but I consider it a tennis bracelet. It's really, really pretty. It's not Cartier. It's not any, you know, brand. He purchased it from Ross Simon. He saw it. He said, I thought it looked like you. And he does such a great job picking out beautiful jewelry for me. I absolutely love 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 this bracelet he couldn't have done a better job and i love to wear these pieces separately because i've stacked this bracelet before and i feel like this bracelet is just much prettier alone or with this just small cartier bracelet i think it's just really pretty together so i think this whole hand looks really nice let me start out with this ring this ring is a 18 karat gold ring. It has Alan, Alexander the Greek on it. There's a Greek key around it. My parents brought my sister and I both 
these matching rings many years ago from Greece. As a matter of fact, I've worn mine so much that this is very, I guess I've rubbed a lot of the face off of it. My sister's ring is much more detailed than mine, but I love it, you guys. And when my daughter was in preschool, she snuck this ring and took it for show and tell. <laughs> and lost it on the playground and we went up there one evening I was crying and after several hours we found it you guys it was a miracle but anyway this is a very special ring that my parents got me so I've had this ring a good 32 years and I've worn it constantly for 32 years and it's a very special heirloom for me all right, this ring I've had many years. I have earrings to match it that I never wear. I also have a pendant that I broke the chain, but this is a ruby and diamond ring. It's very simple. It looks very vintage and it has little tiny diamonds on the side. Occasionally I'll take the gold ring off and put this one on. And Keith bought me this many years ago, and again, it's a ring that I have worn for about 19 years now. And it's not, I wouldn't say it's super expensive, but it's very special to me. I'm not a huge ring person, and I am planning on doing an entire jewelry collection, you guys. Costume, organization, because I have a new armoire to show you guys and also I will show you some of my fine jewelry but I don't have a lot of rings I'm not a huge ring person and the ones that I have I just tend to stick with but this one I would say is the one that I wear almost every day and have for <laughs> about 34 years now to be honest it's it's unbelievable that I've had that ring this long but that's the thing about fine jewelry you guys it's some of it is uber expensive like Cartier. You know, you can buy bands a lot cheaper or if you just want the look or you want the designer you know, brand, then you're gonna pay for that. But for me, it's worth it because it's something that's gonna be with me for a very, very long time. All right, so let me get started with these bracelets that I wear every day and I'll tell you what, it, what, what I did, where I went wrong, and what I plan to do about it. Okay, so I thought long and hard about getting a Cartier Love bracelet and decided it's not for me. I tried them on, the whole screw system, you know, my luck, I live two and a half hours from Atlanta. I would probably strip out the screws and then have to send it off. I just, I don't know. I thought long and hard about it and decided it wasn't for me. So when we were in Vegas last year, Keith got me this Cartier Justin Clue. It's in rose gold. It is the thick one and it's absolutely beautiful, you guys. And I would say it's probably a size too big. Depending on how you want to wear it because when I got this bracelet, I was wearing it on this arm and I just plan to wear it by itself. Well, <laughs> it is a size 17. So in a perfect world, the way YouTubers stack their Cartier jewelry with the love bracelet, I should have gotten a 16, but I have to back up and say I really did buy this bracelet to wear as a bangle. I told my SA that I wanted to wear it loose. I didn't want to stack it with a love bracelet because I was not going to buy a love bracelet. I didn't think that I was until later on I decided to get the love cuff. Okay, And I purchased the love cuff for myself. I sold my Birkin. I fell out of love with it. Not that I didn't fall out of love with it. I didn't love the size 35 anymore. It was just too heavy and I could see that that Birkin was gonna sit there in my closet and I wanted to put that money to good use. So I sold it and with some of the money, I purchased this yellow gold Cartier Love Cuff. Now, okay, they're both a size 17. You see that? 
it will fall on top. And in between, this is a 18 karat gold. This bracelet here is an 18 karat gold Roberto coin. It's a designer bracelet. They have many styles. I wear it all the time and I've had this one for quite a long time. I believe this bracelet was about $3,000 when I got it. A Roberto coin, they always put a beautiful ruby on the inside. That's kind of his signature. And you can get so many beautiful bracelets from that brand. So, before I got the cuff, I was just wearing the two of these together, like that. And then I got the cuff, and I realized, which I really already knew, that it is going to overlap. Now, it doesn't bother me. I would like to have another Justin Clue in a smaller size somewhere down the road, okay? Because I'm not finished with my stack. This is the stack that I wear every day, but I think having the Roberto coin in the middle does help somewhat, but it doesn't bother me. But I did want to tell you guys, you know, <laughs> if you, if you are considering Cartier bracelets and you feel like you want the classic love stack with the Justin Clue bracelet, of course the Justin Clue is supposed to be one size down where mine are the same, okay? And you can see there's some, it's not really too big, it's just too big for how they suggest that you wear it. I also have a diamond bracelet that I've had for many years and sometimes I do add it to my stack. This is my diamond add a bracelet. Keith purchased this for me many years ago. There are five very sizable diamonds in it. It is white gold and sometimes I do add it to my stack. I do wear it like this and when I wear it like this it does seem to work well with my stack because of the way the sizing is because it's quite thick and it does prevent my Justin Clue from falling on top of my love cuff. I tend to wear this. Okay, this is my everyday look and I wear it day in and day out. And for earrings, you guys know I'm a hoop girl. I have so many pair of gold hoops. I have so many versions of gold hoops. This is a thin pair of 18 karat gold hoops, three inch hoops. And when you buy jewelry like this, you have it forever. That's the beauty of fine jewelry. These are 18 karat gold white hoops. I have these twisty hoops. These are 14 karat gold. I have these diamond and gold hoops, just pave diamond that Keith got me years ago. I have some bamboo. I believe these are 14 karat gold. Very old. I've had them forever. Another pair of white gold, thicker white gold hoops. And I have this pair that is probably 30 something years old. I've had these probably since before my daughter was born. <laughs> so I, I have more, you guys. I have so many more. So these are kind of the ones, I kind of keep them inside of this little thing in my closet. And I'm, and I'm always just reaching in here and grabbing a pair of hoops. So hoops are definitely a part of my everyday jewelry choices. Oh, and I also found this bracelet that is a little warped. <laughs> it's an 18 karat gold bangle, and this is a bracelet that my dad found at the bus stop in Detroit when he was waiting to catch a bus to go to work. He found it. He saw something glistening in the snow. I have shared this with you guys before. I've had it my entire adult life, and I tend to wear it and kind of push it up here. And... I've worn it for years. I don't wear it every single day, but it is one that I've reached for my entire adult life. And that's what I'm saying about fine jewelry, you guys. It's always there for you. You can bathe in it, you can live in it. And 
if you don't lose it or it's not stolen, then you have it for many years to come. And that is so, so special. And that adds to this sentimental value of the piece. The pieces that I don't take off and I wear every day are always with me. You know, I'm wearing this, I love it, but I buy less and less of this type of item because I feel like pieces like this is well worth the money. I mean, you can say, oh, the Cartier is so expensive. You can get something just as nice for less money. You're paying for the name. Well, you are. And for me, I want the name. I want it. I like my Cartier stack and I think it's beautiful with my add a diamond bracelet. So whether you go for a designer fine jewelry or fine jewelry that's not designer, it really is up to you because fine jewelry will last you a lifetime. It's well worth the money. And yes, I am diving into the world of fine jewelry with Cartier because I absolutely love the look of it. I, yes, have been influenced, but at the same time, I can't be influenced when I don't love something. I've thought long and hard about the pieces that I have purchased. I do want to add a few more bracelets. I hope uh, this year for Christmas, maybe just add a nice piece something that I'll have for years and that's just really what I'm into now and I, I absolutely love having these pieces and pieces like this you love and you treasure them even more as the years go by. I love luxury costume jewelry. I love pieces like this but of course I don't get up every day and put it on. Now my David Yurman, I get asked about this all the time, this necklace here it is a David Yurman. It's a garnet and it's a tiny little heart in 18 karat gold and Keith purchased that for me. I love it you guys. It's my signature necklace and it's in the shape of a heart and it's Keith's birthstone and it just, I feel like I have Keith with me at all times. I mean, you know, he is with me in my heart, but at the same time, this represents how much I love him and how much he loves me. And it's just my signature little piece and it, I wear it every single day. And those are my everyday pieces that I hope to wear for many years to come and I hope to pass down to my daughter and my granddaughters and to me that means a lot. So I wanted to share with you my everyday pieces. I feel like most people do have signature jewelry or everyday pieces that they love and wear. Tell me what your most prized everyday piece of jewelry is that you wear and what it means to you. I'd love to hear some stories in the comment section below. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and we do have more jewelry videos coming up so I'm excited to share all this with you. Let me know what your favorite pieces are, what you like to wear, what they mean to you and anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in another video on another day. Peace.